Hello friends, this is Gangadhar from the YouTube channel Maths Ganga. In the last video, we discussed about the way of finding the number of factors for a number using the counting principle of multiplication. And we derived a rule, a formula to find the number of factors also. Now when in this video, I am going to give you the direct rule or direct way of finding the number of factors number of even factors, number of odd factors and the number of factors with certain special properties we are going to discuss in this video. Okay? For example, the formula what we mentioned in the last video is if we have a number n whose prime factorization is p1 to the power alpha 1, p2 to the power alpha 1 and so on pn to the power alpha n. Where this p1, p2 and pn, the basis of the primes and alpha 1, alpha 2 and so on, alpha n are the powers of the primes. If we express any given number as a product of the powers of the primes, then the number of factors, the number of divisors for the number n is nothing but this power alpha 1 plus 1 into this power alpha 2 plus 1 into and so on, the power alpha n plus 1. Okay. This is the rule, this is the formula to find the number of factors for a given number. And in the last video, we discussed about this rule with different examples and we derived this rule with certain examples. Okay? Now, in this video, we are using this one to find the number of factors for different types of numbers. Okay, This is the rule. And for example, if we have a number, some n is equals to something like some 2 power 5 into 3 cube into some 7 square. This is the number. I have a number and whose prime factorization is represented as 2 power 5 into 3 power 3 into 7 square. Uh, if I am going to find the number of factors, what will be the number of factors for this number? And the number of factors for this number is nothing but this is 5 plus 1 is 6, this is 3 plus 1 is 4 and this is 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 4 is 24, 24 3 is 72. Totally there are 72 factors for the given number. And instead of asking the number of factors, if anybody asks you to find the number of even factors, then how can we do? Okay, for even factors. For even factors, to calculate the even factors, you just express the number n like this. Okay, the number n is 2 power 5 into 3 cube into 7 square. To get an even factor, surely it involves with 2. Okay, in the last video we mentioned the direct, we mentioned the, the simple way by expressing the 2 power 5 in the first column as 1, 2, 2 square, 2 cube like that and 3 cube as 1, 3, 3 square, 3 cube like that. But here what I am going to tell you is, since we are going to find the even factors, just to separate from 1, 2, from this prime factorization. You just separate 1, 2. So that means 2 into 2 power 4 into 3 cube into 7 square. Okay. See, both are same. The given n is same as this one. Now, write all the factors of this number. Write all the factors of this number and multiply each and every factor with 2 because I separated 2 now. So if you write all the factors of this number and automatically since I separated 2, by multiplying that factor with 2 becomes a factor of 10. All those factors are even factors because we are multiplying with 2. So how many factors will be there for this number? The number of factors for this number is 4 plus 1, 5 into 3 plus 1, 4 into 2 plus 1, 3. And the product is 5, 4 is 20, 23 is 60. So the total number of even factors for the given number are 60. Okay. Since the total number of even factors are 60 and the number of factors are 72, then the number of odd factors are 12. The difference between 72 and 60. Okay. This is one way of finding odd factors. Total number of factors minus even factors. And the other way is for odd factors, we need to imagine the number like this. Since we are going to calculate the odd factors, we don't need any even number. So separate all the 2's out. So 2 power 5 into 3 cube into 7 square. By leaving this 2 power 5, 
just you count the number of factors for this number. Since this, this power is 3, 4, since power is 2, 3, 4, 3, 6, 12. By expressing the given number like this, the number of odd factors are 12. And the other way, total number of factors minus even factors also gives us the number of odd factors. So directly by using this way of uh, separating the numbers out, we will count the number of factors, even factors and odd factors like this. Okay. See, so the number of even factors are 60, odd factors are 12 and the total number of factors for the given number are 72. For example, if anybody asks you the number of factors, which are multiples of 3. See, we need to count the number of factors which are multiples of 3. Totally, there are 72 factors. Among those 72 factors, for certain numbers, for certain factors, 3 is a multiple. Okay. So, we need to count those factors which are multiples of 3. Since we are going to count the number of factors which are multiples of 3, you just separate one 3 and express the given number like this. 3 into 2 power 5 into 3 square into 7 square. Since I need a multiple of 3, factors which are multiples of 3, I just separate to 1, 3. The remaining number is like I wrote it here. Then the number of factors for this number. How many factors will be there for this number? Since this is 2 power 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So the total number of factors are 6, 3 is 18, 18, 3 is 54. Among those 72 factors, there are 54 factors which are multiples of 3. Like this we will come. If anybody asks you to find the number of factors which are multiples of 6. To count the number of factors which are multiples of 6, you just separate 1, 2 along with 1, 3. Then if you separate 1, 2 and 3, the remaining number is 2 power 4 into 3 square into 7 square. The number of factors for this one is 5 into and 2 plus 1, 3 into power 2 plus 1, 3 and the product is 45. So there are totally 45 factors which are multiples of 6. Okay. So to count the number of factors, the direct rule is the powers of the primes plus 1. And if, if the special property is like multiples of 3, multiples of uh, 6 like this, we will express like this. If anybody asks you to count the number of factors which are multiples of 42. 42 means 2, 3, 6, 6, 6, 7, 6, 42. You just separate 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 7 from the prime factorization of the given number. Then I express it like 2 into 3 into 7 into the remaining number is what? 2 power 4 into 3 square into 7 power 1. And the number of factors for this number is 5 into 2 plus 1, 3 into 1 plus 1, 2. And the product is 30. So there are totally 30 factors which are multiples of 42 for the given number. Like this we will count the number of factors which are multiples of 3, multiples of 6, multiples of 42, like that. Okay. And if I will ask you to count the number of factors which are multiples of 4 but not multiples of 9. How can you say? There are totally 72 factors for the number n. Among those 72, I am going to count the number of factors which are multiples of 4 but not multiples of 9. Okay, a factor which, is, which must be a multiple of 4, which can't be a multiple of 9, I need to count. For that, initially I am counting the number of factors which are multiples of 4. So since the factors are multiples of 4, so you just separate 4, that means 2 square from the given number. I express it like 2 square into 2 cube into 3 cube into 7 square. Is it right? I just separate the two twos out because I am going to count the factors which are multiples of 4. So, uh, by separating that 2 square, the remaining number is 2 cube, 3 cube, 7 square. For this number, the number of factors are, the power is 3, plus 1 is 4, power is 3, plus 1 is 4, power is 2, plus 1 is 3, and if you multiply, 48 is your answer. That means, there are totally 48 factors for the number, 48 factors for the number n, which are multiples of 4. But I am going to count the number of factors, which are multiples of 4, but not multiples of 9. Now, now what I am going to tell you is, there are 48 factors which are multiples of 4. Among these 48 factors, certain numbers are multiples of 9, whereas certain numbers are not multiples of 9. 
all those 48 are multiples of other plus 3 here. But among those 48, certain are multiples of 9, certain are not multiples of 9. I am going to count the numbers which are not multiples of 9. For that, initially count the number of factors which are multiples of both 4 and 9. To count the number of factors which are multiples of both 4 and 9, you just separate 2 2's and 2 3's out. And the remaining number is 2 power 3 into 3 power 1 into 7 power 2. Then the number of factors for this number, power is 3 plus 1 is 4, power is 1 plus 1 is 2, power is 2 plus 1 is 3. And if you multiply, 4 2's is 8, 8 3's is 24. That in, my, that in the sense, 24 factors are, 20, there are 24 factors which are multiples of both 4 and 9. And there are 48 factors which are multiples of just 4. And if you subtract, 48 minus 24 is 24. And there are 24 factors which are multiples of 4 but not multiples of 9. If anybody asks you to count the number of factors like this, which are multiples of 4 and not multiples of 9, we will do like this. First of all, we will count the number of factors which are multiples of 4. And then we will count the number of factors which are multiples of both 4 and 9. Do subtraction. The subtraction will give us the number of factors which are multiples of 4 but not multiples of 9. Okay. So like this, by separating the required multiple number out, we will count the number of factors of the uh, given number. Okay. And if anybody asks you to count the number of factors which are perfect squares. Okay. Number of factors which are perfect squares. How can we mention? Number of factors which are perfect squares. See, which are perfect square means? The factor must be a perfect square. See, if you calculate in the way what we discussed in the last video, 1, 2, 2 square, 2 cube, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, and here 1, 3, 3 square, 3 cube, and here 1, 7, 7 square we mentioned. To write the factors, we will, we will select one number from this column, one from this column, one from this column. We discussed about this method in the last video. Now here the question is, we are going to calculate the number of factors which are perfect squares. The factor must be a perfect square. For that, we need to select a perfect square from this column. See, to select a perfect square, we have three chances from this column. One or two square or two cube. There are three chances. And to select a perfect square, there are two chances from this column. So, two chances. And selection of a selection, selecting a perfect square has two chances for this column. So, two. And the total number of factors which are perfect squares are nothing but combinations of uh, these three, these two and these two. And the total chances are 3 into 2 into 2 which is nothing but 12. So there are 12 factors which are perfect squares. Totally this number has 72 factors. Among those 72 factors, 12 factors are perfect squares. So this is one way. And the other way, uh, and the other way we will express this 2 power 5 into 3 cube into 7 square like this. How can we express 2 into 2 square power 2 into okay 3 into 3 square power 1 into 7 square power 1 since we are going to count the number of factors which are perfect squares so a perfect square power something like that we need to express this 2 is not a perfect square this 3 is not a perfect square this 2 square is a perfect square so 2 square power 2 is there so to count the number of factors we will write 3 3 square power 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 7 square power 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and the product is 12. So this is the direct way of counting the number of factors which are perfect squares, and this is the traditional way of finding the number of factors which are perfect squares. Okay? So there are totally 12 factors which are perfect squares. Okay? And if anybody asks you to count the number of factors which are perfect cubes, there are totally 72 factors for the number. To count the number of factors which are perfect cubes, I will express it like this. 2 square into 2 cube over 1 into 3 cube over 1. And we don't have what? Perfect cubes there. So 7 square. You just left this 2 square and 3 square. Concentrate on 2 power 3 power 1, 3 power 3 power 1. And the number of factors are this 1 plus 1 is 2. This 1 plus 1 is 2. And if you multiply, there are totally 4 factors which are perfect cubes for the given number. Okay, so this is the way, the direct way of finding the number of factors.
for the given number and finding number of factors is a simple task but if anybody asks you to find the even factors or factors or factors which are multiples of 3 or the factors which are perfect squares like this then this is the way of calculating those okay so do subscribe for the channel refer it to your friends i hope this video is helpful for your preparation if it is helpful refer it to your friends do like it share it thank you